Let's talk shop, let's chop shop and get a little real talk, period. And today I want to keep it short and sweet and just trigger a snowflake. Because I need to trigger some snowflakes. I need some leftist tears in my mouth. They're delicious. So salty. So full of electrolytes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, are we ready? Okay, here we go. Here we go. One. Two. Three. White privilege. Uh, I see you getting triggered already. You're shaking and whatnot. Lord have mercy. Every, everyone is talking about white privilege. White privilege this and white privilege that. Brothers and sisters, let's, let, can, can I tell you something? Let's, let's talk facts, stats, and data. Hmm? There were about 880 fatal police shootings in 2018. The Washington Post reported that 454 of those victims were white and 228 were black. The black community makes up about 13% of the population, yet the 13% of the population commits over 50% of the violent crime in America. So despite having a higher crime rate, blacks are less likely to be killed by an officer? Why? Why, if, if this white privilege thing is in fact a thing, why does a cop feel better about pulling the trigger and killing a white person than a black person. I mean, majority of cops are terrified, absolutely mortified, petrified to pull the trigger on any black person at this point in time in history, ladies and gentlemen, because they know the media would tear them to shreds. Their family will have death threats. Right? And they will be sent to prison and lose absolutely everything simply for doing their daggone jobs. Right? Speaking of doing their jobs, it's the media that fights so extremely hard to, I don't know, maybe divide America. Trying to convince us that white people have it better. Trying to convince us that the black community are still enslaved. Trying to convince us that our faults are not our own, black community, that our faults are not our own and it's simply due to blacks being marginalized and underprivileged. What? 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 Come on, guys. I mean, come on now. We have even, I mean, we, we, we even have celebrities at this point in time faking their ethnicities, trying to be minorities because they don't want to be white. Hillary Baldwin. <clears throat> or shall I call you just Hillary Baldwin? Hilaria. Hilaria Baldwin. Okay. All right. I mean, whites are just at this point considered racist. If you're a white person, if you're a white man or a white woman, you're automatically considered racist. You got to go to these diversity trainings and 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 you know the racial sensitivity trainings and 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 be a snowflake training and. And all this type of stuff. I mean, come on now. You, you're, you're just considered a racist. You're considered a racist, cop-loving elderly. I mean, come on now. How, 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 how is that? How is that white privilege again? How, how is that? Someone explain it to me. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there was a point in time when there was white privilege and it was rampant. Okay? They can walk down the street, shoot a black man, or string him up. Hang them in a tree and keep it pushing. No one would bat an eye. You try to do that in 2021. Try to do that in 2021. And back in the day, they'd probably be given a medal. Nowadays, you will get strung up. You will be hanged. It won't be pretty and it won't be pleasant. So come on now. You know this to be true. So let me tell you something. I'm a free black man. I am a successful black man. And I am no man's slave. And I, being the intelligent black man that I am, completely denounce the foolish ideologies that create this white privileged myth, this white privileged lie that's still circulating in the United States and in this world today. I am privileged. I am privileged because I have chosen myself to be. You understand me? And it is time for you to do the same. So there you have it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little real talk and some chop-chop food for thought. Enjoy.